Welcome to the CTCL Virtual Day. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you, re where you registered. And now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters from the University of Lynchburg. All right, hi everyone. Just wanted to welcome you um, to our presentation. Um, my name is Nicole Marberger. I am the Associate Director of Admissions here at the University of Lynchburg and Events Coordinator. I will be um, in the chat box answering any questions that you guys have. So while Dom is going through our presentation and you guys have questions, please put them in the chat and I will definitely answer them for you guys. Enjoy the presentation. Hello everybody, my name is Don Butler. I'm also a admissions counselor here at the University of Lynchburg. I'm in charge of the Maryland, DC, Delaware, as well as Alexandria and Arlington territories, and I will be your guys' presenter today. So like Nicole said, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, please put them in the chat and Nicole will be able to help, there, help you guys out. Without further ado, let's get it started. So I'd like to welcome you guys. Thank you guys for taking the time out to listen to us today and walk the University of Lynchburg. But first, we're going to start talking about the city of Lynchburg itself. If you've not heard about it, it's about 80,000 total people in population. We're actually number one for millennials to move to, as well as top 10 for foodie cities. So if you love to eat, you'll love to be here. It's a great place to be. There's so many fun people. There's tons of things that go on downtown, food festivals, music festivals. There's a skate park down there. There's a dog park down there. There's so many incredible things, beautiful views. There's a view behind me. If it wasn't dark outside, you guys would be able to see the beautiful view across the street of the Blackwater Creek. But let's get into, into the school itself. About 3,000 total students here, 2,000 at the undergrad level and 1,000 at the graduate level which means your average class size is going to be about 16 people. Realistically, most ca classes cap out to be about 25 to 30 students. And having those small class sizes allows you to build that relationship with your professor and your advisor so much easier. And a lot of professors and advisors do teach at the graduate as well as doctoral level. So if you're interested in getting into the graduate degree as well as doctoral degree, we have those opportunities here available for you. And like I said, you build those close relationships with those professors. Having the 11 to 1 student faculty ratio, you do mean something here. Uh, we're about 25% multicultural and uh, most of our students come from over 35 different states and 15 different countries. We bring students from all across the nation, all across the world here to make it one big happy family. And as we go on to a little bit of undergrad uh, studies, what can you study here? We have about 53 different majors, so 66 different minors. So there's tons of value packed into this small school. If you think about studying stuff, there's a possibility you can have it here. I was a communications major myself, and I graduated in 2019 from the University of Lynchburg and I had a triple minor. So there's tons of things you can dip your toes into. We are a liberal arts school, so you're able to kind of look at different subjects that you might not get to look at at larger schools. You get to look at a little bit of college, the arts, college, the business leadership studies and many more different cases if that you want to but maybe you want to go on to the graduate studies programs as well we have those here for you too many certificates masters uh, masters programs and doctoral programs most of our masters and doctoral programs they have something called a direct admit pathway program so if you if you want to grow up or if you know what you want to be when you grow up I still don't know what I, what I want to be when I grow up but if you want to know what you want to be when you grow up maybe a physical therapist maybe an athletic trainer we have a pathway for you that adds another layer of advising it keeps you on track make sure your GPA as well as the prerequisites for our masters and doctoral programs are met and we automatically enroll you to those programs right after school so if you are someone interested into the, any of these masters doctoral programs definitely reach out to us we can get you in contact with those advisors and make sure you're set on the path of what you want to be and uh, here we kind of we don't believe in just lecturing you all the time we don't believe in those huge lecture halls you might have a class that it's a lecture base it's just the way it happens but we definitely want you to get out. We want you to get hands-on learning, experiential learning is what we like to call it. And one of the opportunities that we do have here is the Clayton Nature Center. It's about 30, 45 minutes off campus in a beautiful place, uh, Bedford, Virginia. You see the Blue Ridge Mountains in the background. It's 500 acres of absolutely untouched wilderness, beautiful, beautiful acres of just streams, 
there's ponds out there, there's different trails that you can go on. A lot of our biology and environmental studies and sustainability classes go out there for micro and macro organism samplings. There's many things you can do. If you're someone that likes looking at the stars, we have a guides out there that are, able, that are able to help you out with this. One of my buddies, Nick, he's actually created telescopes that mimic the Belk Observatory, which is what you see on your screen right now. So there's tons of opportunities for you. If you know what you want to study, we have those there for you. We have uh, these uh, experiences for you. We also want you to experience tons of other things. So we have the historic uh, Sandusky House as well. It's a little bit closer to campus. These are for history as well as archaeology minors. So if you're interested in archaeology, there's tons of things you can do out here. It's owned by Hurt and Profit, but we have full capabilities uh, of this uh, place. It was actually a historic or Civil War base during the Civil War times. And now it's just been transformed into tons of the Civil War reenactments, as well as different archeological digs. So a lot that went on at this building and there's a full capabilities for a student to go out there and uh, do some research. But we also want you to experience a little bit of the world. We want you to go out and explore things hands-on. And we have this uh, possibility here for you. So we have the study abroad here about 25% of our students do do study abroad, so that's an awesome experience. It's very feasible. It's financial aid scholarships as well as grants are available for it. You can go for a full semester if you dare. You can go for a full year. Also different uh, summer terms as well as winter terms. J term is probably the most popular as well as spring break opportunities. We go to every single continent except for Antarctica. So you can't go play with the penguins, but you can definitely go over to Australia and play with the kangaroos. So there's tons of things you can do. These are all uh, ran by our faculty here. The faculty has gone on these trips countless times. This is one of the regrets. I wish I was able to actually go on one of these trips, but sadly I did not. I did not take that opportunity to go out and see Vietnam and Cambodia, Australia, New Zealand, Chile, or many of the other countries. So I definitely recommend if you do come here to be a Lynchburg Hornet to go out and see the world from a firsthand point of view. But maybe you're someone that also wants a job internship. Having that study abroad will help you get these jobs internship. But from our Career and Development uh, Center, we do have offer over a thousand different internships a year. In tons of these bigger name companies that you see on the screen, USA Today, LinkedIn, Microsoft, we have alumni that we have a great relationship with in these categories that come back to campus. They do a Hornet to Hornet panel that I'll talk a little bit about later. And they come to help out, they advise students as well as just to meet you and possibly give out internship possibilities. So if that's something that you wanna have, having these hard skills, having these internships are gonna get you and land you that job that you want after school. So that's a great value that we do have here is having that opportunity to meet with our alumni. We have a great alumni relationship to actually see someone that you might see yourself being in the future. They can help you out to get you on that path. So we have a great mentorship program. But maybe you're someone that wants to do graduate schools. We have that possibility here for you. The Career and Development Center doesn't just only focus on jobs and internships. They focus on these graduate schools, making sure you're able to get into these different graduate schools. Of course, as you see on the screen, we want you to stay. We want you to be a two-time Hornet or even a three-time Hornet. But it's totally up to you if you want to go out and explore the nation, explore a different college campus after your four years here. But we want to make sure you get into those campuses and uh, as well as make sure we bring that uh, graduate school tuition down. We allow you to start your research as soon as your freshman year here. So that's an amazing opportunity. Maybe you're someone that doesn't like history class or doesn't like math class or something. Maybe you want to study something you're passionate about. We give you the opportunity with your thesis. So you can study your thesis. We want to make sure you're able to quantify, qualify, use all the analytics that you can do and even give you an opportunity to present that research. What makes you get these positions, these graduate assistant positions at these larger name schools like Yale, University of Virginia, Cornell, a lot easier and it also brings that graduate tuition down a lot more. So we want to make sure you're set on these paths to definitely get to the place that you want to be. And this is kind of how we shape things that. We have this uh, Professionalism Plus program, we call it the Pro Plus program. Your first year, we're going to make sure you do some career counseling. We want to make sure you know what you want to do. Maybe you don't know what you want to do right now, and that is completely okay. Undecided is the number one major across the nation, so don't worry about that. We want to make sure you know what you either like or don't like. Then we want to make sure you have these cover letters and resumes, these key building uh, components to when you do these interviews, as well as try to get these jobs, as well as create your online profile on LinkedIn. After that, we move on to a little bit of networking, doing a little bit of networking with people on campus, around campus, around the city of Lynchburg, as well as even in your hometown. We want to make sure you're developing these relationships for someone that you might interview with or a, a company you might interview with. They want to make sure that we, there's a chance that you might know them or they might know you. 
we'll do a little bit of social media branding, polishing up your social media, making sure you're able to brand yourself online and make sure there's nothing on your social media that will hinder you from getting a job. Then we'll start doing mock interviews, which is very important. We want to make sure you're doing great in the interview. We don't want to make sure you're, you know, you're out there with a sweaty hand, shaking hands. We want to kind of ease your nerves and everything like that and uh, make sure you're able to conduct yourself in an interview as well as have fun. Interviews are fun. We want to make sure you're able to have fun in an interview. After that, we do have professional headshots here for our own staff and photographer. So we want to make sure you're not giving out, uh, you know, the peace signs and duck lips in your photos. We want to make sure you have a clean, polished photo that's done by a professional. And so when uh, an employer looks at you, they see that you're a polished professional. And after that, the goal level, we polish you up. We want to make sure you're very marketable. We want to make sure you're the person getting that job. And we do this through the internships as well as the capstone courses. I usually collaborate with them. Depending upon what major you're in, you're going to do some type of capstone course. For myself, I was a public relations major. So we did a actual PR campaign for a local business in the area. So we'll make sure you're having these portfolio building exercises in class, not being able to say you know this stuff, being able to say you know this stuff, and here's the proof that I've done it. And that's going to set you apart from a lot of people across this nation. And then we also do etiquette dinners. So a little fun thing that you do, you want to make sure you know which one the soup spoon is as well as the salad fork, just in case you might have an interview over an etiquette dinner, or maybe you're uh, up there with corporate and have to have an etiquette dinner. We want to make sure you're able to conduct yourself during that. We also have site travel. So like the etiquette dinner, maybe you have uh, an interview over lunch. We want to make sure you're able to conduct yourself over that. And then the Hornet Hornet, like I said earlier, that's when we bring our alumni back twice a year. We build those mentorship connections. We build those advising connections. They share their experience with Lynchburg and what they boost them into their own problem. And we want to make sure that you build those relationships with the alumni. A little bit about student life. You know, it's not all just books and studying here. We like to have fun. There's 10 nationally recognized fraternities and sororities here. About 18% of our students do participate in it. So it is there for you if you would like to participate in that. They owe, they are uh, each one of them corresponds with their own different philanthropy. We have 70 different clubs and organizations here on campus. If there's something you're passionate about that we don't have you here, it just takes you and 10 friends to start that and start that and one advisor to uh, get funding from SGA. So it's very easy. We are uh, very passionate about helping our students out and fulfilling their own passions. We do about 2,000 events a year on campus, which is about one event per person. So there's tons of things going on, on campus, magicians, hypnotists, musicians, tons of comedians coming on campus. I got hypnotized my sophomore year, so I'm here to tell you it's real. It's the real deal stuff. I was on stage belly dancing, but that's neither here nor there. We have these experiences for you to get outside your room, to experience the community and start building relationships as well as have fun. We have Get Downtown, which is the event. It's almost like a national night out if you have that in your neighborhood at home. It feels like all 80,000 people in the city of Lynchburg are downtown. There's music playing throughout the streets. There's mom and pop shops have their doors open. You can smell food for miles. Um, all the big name uh, companies down there have their doors open. They're giving away free coupons. They're giving away uh, sales and tons of things going on downtown. It's a way for you to kind of bring organization as well as this to get to meet the downtown area. We're one big happy family here on campus as well as we love our relationship with the downtown area. We do also have the outdoor leadership program available for you. So if you're someone that likes the outdoors, you love the outdoors, we have that opportunity for you. Being in the beautiful spot of Virginia that we are in, you have so many different capabilities. So there's tons of things you can do. You can go mountain climbing, you can go whitewater rafting, caving. And we have a high ropes course that's a, like five minutes off campus. That's for our outdoor leadership program. But maybe you don't want to be head over heels in love with the outdoor uh, program. That's okay. If you want to do one of their trips, it's anywhere between five to $15 for the whole weekend. So it'd make it very feasible for you to go horseback riding or camping for a weekend. I always tell people, if you're not an outdoorsy person, it just takes one Lynchburg sunset for you to fall in love with being out, outside and seeing the beautiful world that we have. We also, like I said, you know, we love our community. We love the relationship that we do have with our, uh, the, the city itself, as well as the surrounding cities. And as a school, we do over 70,000 hours community service a year. It's not mandatory, but we expect you to do some type of community service. We expect you to take a step away from yourself to help other people. Be a servant leader, leading through service, not just leading through delegating stuff. We want to make sure you're helping out people. And that's something that we love. And that's how you build a great community, is looking out for one another. And that's something that's really special in the backbone of the University of Lynchburg. We have great connections with many of the ones down below. We actually host a Special Olympics on our campus, as well as Relay for Life. So if you're someone that's interested in community service, we have the Bonner Leader Program here for you. It's a four-year program, and you're pretty much the head honcho of community service. So you're helping set up events. You're helping make, meet those connections. There's tons of things that packed into that, pro, that uh, program for you. So if you're interested, definitely reach out to us. 
If any of you guys are interested in the fine arts, we do have a scholarship opportunity for you. Before we get into a little bit of the application as well as the scholarships, this is another option for you. Interested in theater, music, dance, art of any kind, we have this opportunity available for you. And please, like I said, reach out to us if you think you are uh, someone that wants to be a part of this program. You don't have to be a major or minor, you just have to be interested in the program and we can set you up and make that connection. You'll do just a little portfolio. If you're an artist, you'll do a little performance if you are a singer, a musician of any kind. So we wanna make sure you uh, have these passions and keep those passions going. If you guys are also here, maybe you heard of us through athletics, we could be at the Division Three Old Dominion Athletic Conference and the NCAA. And these are our sports teams that you will see on the screen. We won over 190 different ODAC titles. We were founded in 1903. So you do the math. We do love our sports teams here. And you'll find out that everyone goes out to every game. If it's a soccer game that's going on, all the teams are there. If it's a, a, a lacrosse game going on, all the teams there, all the friends of the uh, team are there. Everyone's out there. We're all cheering on one another because this is a community, like I said, you know, we have friends that are on that field. We want to cheer them on. We want to make sure when they go up to ring that bell, we hear it all across campus and you will hear it across campus. We have teams that travel and will come back at 2 a.m. You'll hear that bell and you'll hear yelling all across campus because we know our team just won the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. So we do love our sports teams here. We also have the club level as well. So maybe you don't want to compete at the NCAA level. The club level just is pretty much every single one of these teams can be at a different conference and a different level of play as well as the intramural level where you and your friends compete for a free t-shirt pretty much so if you someone that is a gym class hero and just likes to compete or likes to have fun with your classmates the intramural level is there for you as well we have a nationally recognized first year program here so that's awesome we want to make sure we help that path from going to high school to college make it as easy as possible we start you off with the orientation student orientation this is where you'll meet your academic advisor you have to meet some of your friends and your potential roommates if you don't have a roommate and you'll start to get a look uh, to see what the campus is like as well so a great first start before you even get step foot on campus after that we have our hornet days and this week is your first week here you're doing something you're getting acquainted with the community you're starting to build these meetings for relationships that you will harbor for the next four years. So uh, the Hornet days are something to kind of get you out of the room, get you away from Netflix to start meeting your homemates, start meeting the people in your building as well as outside of your building. We also have the freshman success seminar and that's where you'll start that pro plus program as well as you'll start incorporating how to kind of, you know, manage throughout the college for, uh, years. We also have monthly dinners that your RA will do for you, depending upon who are, what RA you have. Maybe you have RA that is a cook. Maybe you'll get lasagna and spaghetti. Maybe you have an RA that just goes out and get frozen food. Maybe you'll get dino nuggets and mac and cheese. I had dino nuggets and mac and cheese. I loved it. I'm not complaining about a free meal, but maybe you do have someone that's having lasagna upstairs. It all depends on where you're at. Either way, it's just a chance that you get out your room once more, get to meet your friends as well as uh, mingle a little bit. And then your first 30 days, like your Hornet days, there's something going on on campus. We stress getting you out of that room, getting into the community uh, quicker and to build those relationships a lot easier your first few weeks here, as well as going on to your college career. We wanna make sure we pave that path for you. In your first 30 days, something's going on, on campus, events, or tons of other things, opportunities for you. You get to meet different organizations for our organization fair. You get to uh, see all your classmates through classes. We just wanna make sure you're doing something. So your first 30 days, you're doing something like your Hornet days. We do offer housing for all four years. Your first year, you're gonna be in some type of traditional residence halls. We have two here, Montgomery and Tate for your first year uh, residence halls. After that, you have the opportunity to live in apartments, townhouses, over hundred different houses. So we do allow you to stay on campus for all four years and a majority of our students, about 8% of our students do stay on campus for all four years. You are able to live off campus as a senior, but like I said, we're one big happy family here. So most people do stay on campus. We offer uh, parking for all four years as well. So you can bring your car here as a freshman. Uh, and then we also, like I said, if you're going into these townhouse apartments, these houses, as a university, as staying on campus, we still man maintain your facilities. So we are pretty much your landlord. But kind of going into this, what your first year is going, your first year room is going to look like. You're going to have fun. Maybe not exactly like this. These ladies did a perfect job of decorating the room. You can do it however Pinteresty you want, or as if you're an HGTV person, kudos for you. You have an option to loft your bed as well, so you have that uh, opportunity there available for you. It all depends on however you want to structure your room with your roommate. I lived in a double my first year, or. For about a month of my first year then we moved into a triple so i always recommend having a triple 
we had a cost of one extra person for the almost two to three times the size of the room. The rooms are pretty sizey as well. So there's tons of things you can maneuver around, but the room comes with a bed, a desk, a dresser, as well as a closet. And this is what your first year bathrooms gonna look like. So it's hall style bathrooms. We also have gender inclusive bathrooms on every floor available for you as well. And uh, we have brand new renovated bathrooms. They're actually renovated in I believe 2018. And we have an awesome, amazing cleaning staff. They have so many fun stories to tell you. Also, you can see their smells even through the mask in today's environment. While well, they do a great job of cleaning, making sure all the facilities here on campus are sparkling clean, but we wanna make sure that does stay the way it is. So if you ever see them walking down the halls, if you do come here, make sure you say hi, you can see them smiling. Like I said earlier, we wanna make sure you're having fun here, but we wanna make sure you're staying safe and secure as well. So we do have the Live Safe app that is one of the options available for you. When you come here, we make sure you download this. This is pretty much an app to make sure that we notify you if anything is going on on campus as well as off campus. So even if there's inclement weather, you download this app, it's gonna send you an email and text notification. It also works hand in hand with our campus early alert system. So if there's something going around in the city or anything like that, we alert you with that. Or if there's inclement weather, maybe you're worried that there's gonna be school tomorrow. We will alert you through that app as well. We also have 24 seven, 365 days security here. So even when you're not here, we have campus safety and security, making sure your stuff here on campus is staying safe. So maybe uh, we don't make you move out every semester. You're allowed to keep your stuff here through the winter break and uh, move right back in your spring semester. We wanna make sure the stuff that you left here is safe and secure. And then we also have the Lynchburg Police Department that does patrol with their safety and security staff officers on the weekends here. So we're at a level of security just in case. And then we're going to go into a little bit of application financially, but like I want to say, if you guys have any questions at all, please, please feel free to answer or ask those in the chat. Nicole is there to help you guys out with that, and I'll be, I'll be there to help you guys out after the presentation. But without further ado, let's uh, get into the last few parts. So application deadlines, we work on a rolling admissions basis, so you pretty much can apply all year round. Uh, we don't recommend waiting until the last minute and, you know, puts a little bit of stress on yourself, puts a little stress on the council as well as everyone that's involved. The only two uh, required materials that you will need are the application high school transcripts themselves. Uh, we have now moved the test optional and I'll talk a little bit about that in a, in a few moments. Um, the optional materials that we do have are the essays and letters of recommendation and like I said, test option, uh, the test scores. So if you, if you have taken the SAT or ACT, don't worry, you can send us the scores. It will not hinder your decision at all. It will only help you if it does help you for your scholarships that I will talk a little bit about later. So if you have taken the SAT or ACT or you're kind of uh, scheduled to take the SAT or ACT and want to send them to us, you can send it to us. If you think you bombed, it's okay, send it to us. It won't ever hurt you. And as since we work on a rolling admissions basis, we read applications all year round. Once we get those two required materials, uh, we're going to give you a decision within three weeks. So we're pretty responsible about that. We try to get you a decision even within two weeks. If you notify us and tell us that, hey, I'm, I'm going to be doing test scores, it's okay. We reevaluate we reevaluate scholarships as well. So don't worry. So maybe you're just a little bit kind of uh, worried. You want to wait a little bit until you get to have take the SAT or ACT score. Don't worry. I just recommend applying. It's free to apply through the Common App Coalition app as well as our own app on our lynchburg.edu. As a missions counselor, we get to read your transcripts here, and this is kind of what we look like, uh, what we look at. We want to make sure you have the English as your lab sciences, your social studies, the foreign language, if your school requires that, as well as math. And these are the averages for our students as well, 22 on the ACT, 1100 on the SAT, and the 3.4 weighted GPA on the 4.0 scale. So these are our averages. And those are, those are the kind of courses we like to look at, as well as we love to see if you go, if maybe you're part of Project Lead the Way or you're into robotics or anything like that. We want to make sure that we're starting to build those uh, connections to those uh, department leaders. So if you kind of, we kind of see that you're interested in a lot of different art classes, we're going to reach out to you saying, hey, are you interested in doing art? We can start making that connection with the art advisor. So if you're trying to take any kind of college worthy classes, a three plus on most of the AP exams, as well as a four and five on some of the select AP exams, you just check our course catalog out with that. I always recommend checking out the course catalog no matter what school you're attending or even looking at to make sure if you're taking these college credit worthy classes, you're getting those credits taken away. A four plus on the higher level IB exam and a C or higher on the dual enrollment courses. We love to see A's and B's, but we do accept C's as well. And as we get into the tuition, I'd like to make a little disclaimer that these this was for the academic year of 2020 as well as 2021. Uh, so we will be releasing the new uh, 
scholarship amounts in October. So if you're, if we're definitely scoring your radar, just uh, look out for those scores, those uh, scholarship amounts coming out in October. But as a comprehensive cost for about 52,000 to 54,000, the average cost for a student though, 100% of our students get scholarship here, the average cost for a student is 22,000. So that comprehensive cost, everything included, but don't worry, this is how we're gonna break you down to that 22,000 mark. First, we start you off with the merit scholarship. And like I said again, guys, that this is uh, for our, the previous year. We will be releasing these scholarship amounts uh, in the next coming weeks. And for, but once you apply here, if you get admitted, you're getting at least $20,000. You can range anywhere between that twenty dollars to $24,000. Once you apply and get admitted here, we're gonna send you out a scholarship day invitation. And this is a chance for you to earn anywhere between one to $5,000 of additional money on top of that twenty dollars to $24,000. It's a pretty easy day too. It's a lot of fun. We try to make it as fun as possible. You get to meet a uh, faculty member in your desired major, and that's where you'll do an interview. It's a pretty casual interview. It's fun. They want to uh, engage to see who you are, as well as uh, what your dreams and aspirations are, and see if you can conduct yourself in an interview already. And then also after that, you'll do a essay, and it's usually a 45-minute essay, and we just want to make sure you can write at the collegiate level. If you're from the state of Virginia, we have the Virginia Tuition Assistance Grants available for you. Uh, and this year, it awarded up to 30, it awarded $3,400. All you have to do is prove your state of residencies. It's like a two-page packet, and you're good to go. And that $34,000 stacks onto all those. We also have that uh, Visual Performing Arts Scholarship that I did mention a, a few slides ago. So you can stack all those numbers up, and we make sure that you're averaging around that $22,000 mark. If you're part of the Yale, if you think you might be a part of the Yellow Ribbon program, if you're a son or daughter of a veteran or a veteran, we're actually number 20 for military, most friendly military schools. So we, uh, there's a chance for you to receive full tuition as well as fees. Just reach out to us and we'll get you in uh, contact with a Veterans Benefits Office that can help you out through this program to see if you're eligible. As always, we definitely recommend you do the FAFSA. Even if you don't think it applies to you, we always recommend you to do it. It actually helps us out in the financial aid office as well. So make sure you do uh, do the FAFSA. It actually opens up October 1st, so make sure you're doing that no matter what school you're going to. Make sure you're doing this FAFSA. And if you want to see kind of what it's going to look like for you to go here, just look at the net price calculator at lynchburg.edu. It'll give you anywhere between $500 to $1,000 off of what it will cost you to go here. Kind of some of our recognitions. We're part of the College of the Changes Lives, as you <laughs> can see here. Uh, so you guys obviously know the College of the Changes Lives are about 40 schools and we've been in every issue since 1997. Lauren Pope was a New York Times offer and he went around the nation looking at these tons of different schools and we're one of the schools that we will change your life. And I think that's something that we do great here. We're part of the Princeton Review as well. So we're part of, uh, we're I believe 17th or so for the best colleges ran, as well as best colleges uh, in the regional area. But I'd like to thank you guys. If you guys do see any of your counselors here, any of the areas that you might see on the screen, please just reach out to those counselors. We're all great here. We love each other. We're, we're one big happy family, and we're always here to help out one another. So if you want to talk to any of these people on the screen, you can. If you want to talk to the person at the bottom of the screen, you can talk to me. I'm here to help you guys out. Nicole is also here to help you guys out. But without further ado, thank you guys. If you guys have any questions, we're going to stick around. But thank you guys for coming. So thank you for joining us. Um, when you close this window, there will be a link to a quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to check out the sign up for additional sessions. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recording. Thank you. Um, Dom, would you like to keep this going or would you like me to end the webinar? Uh, you probably can end it. I see it's only three people here. Yeah, okay. I would no end comment. it because if no one else has any other questions. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, sounds good. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.